Well, let's talk a little bit about how the industry has opened up um, for women a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, what you're seeing just as somebody that's in it, manga was you know traditionally a place where females mm -hmm. would gravitate towards those storytellers, those types of stories. You've had success in that with Sabrina, with you know kind of bringing that to a broader audience. Um, how are you feeling about how the industry is opening itself up to new voices? Uh, are you seeing, you know, that um, you're getting more opportunities or talk to even if it's an opportunity to pitch kind of things more than maybe you were when you first started out? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's completely, completely different than how it was 10 years ago. I mean, I, I just look back at where I was when I started and how, how few women were, I mean, there were still women in comics and it was definitely getting better at that point, but yeah. now it's like, it's not even something I think about anymore as far as like, oh, women are being represented because it seems so equal now. And it's like, it's really great. Not even just, I mean, women, people of color. I mean, every type of yeah. person is being represented right now. And of course, there's always room for improvement, but I think it's just definitely headed in a good direction. Do you see anything in those 10 years, even uh, maybe things that are, that are more recent that you think are really helping keep those doors open or you know widen them even a little bit more, whether it's mentoring or whether it's just you guys knowing about each other and that's allowing people to create um, networking you know, yeah. um, bases? I think it's no surprise that it kind of started picking up with social media becoming more of a presence in our lives. Because of social media, we've been able to you know, connect with each other and support each other and, you know, shout, give shout outs to each other and just kind of help yeah. each other along. So I think that changed everything. Having a community online where you could kind of really check in on people, make friends, you know, keep up on each other's work. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's really just networking, but in a different way. You know, are there any things that you can take as a female creator that either you get asked a whole lot, um, whether it's, you know, emails or an appearances and such, or, or advice that you feel like, if I had known that 10 years ago, uh, maybe I could have um, accelerated something, or, or that, you know, that you think is really important that those that are thinking of your same path, mm -hmm. that they should know? Um, I would just say that I wish I would a little more confident mm -hmm. in even just asking for a better rate or just like being able to assert myself and be like this is what I deserve or these are the I deserve to make as much as my male peers so on and so forth I feel like I was very timid mm. um, coming into comics like almost felt like I didn't quite belong mm. and you know I was certainly welcomed especially by Archie and there was they were very supportive but I, it was still felt like a boys club you know yeah. and I, I felt like a little out of place and so I think that took a while to wear off and so I feel like I wish I'd been a little more assertive, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it worked out well for me. Like, I feel like I just kind of had to learn that over the years. We kind of just said a second ago, if, was there anything, any advice that you'd give your 10-year-old self? You know, you have 10 years in the business, but then your 10-year-old self, you know, someone that was maybe not even thinking that this was a path that you could take as a career, what would you tell yourself now with that kind of look backwards? I would tell myself, um, it's a good question. I would tell myself that it is possible and to not doubt. Like, because like I said, when I went, even when I went to college, I wasn't convinced I could make a job out of comics. And I think I was too focused on what was realistic. Mm -hmm. And I would just tell my 10 year old self, which luckily I think my 10 year old self still kind of believed anything was possible. So I wouldn't really have to nail the point too much. But <laughs> I would just say, you can do this. Like, just don't let the outside voices influence you.